Hello there guys, uh, so today I'm going to be unboxing finally the Sony A7 III. Before I go ahead and do this, uh, I just want to let you know that I've placed my phone on a stand and I'm not sure how well the audio is going to be, but I'm going to try my best to show you the unboxing of the Sony A7 III. So I've got this camera from Carry's PC World, uh, I've only got the body, so I didn't get it with any kit lens, so we're only going to be able to see just the body of the Sony A7 III. So, that being said, now I'm just going to basically unbox the Sony a7 III, which I have to be honest, I've actually opened it and used it for two days now. So I've tried to package it just the same way as Sony has originally packaged uh, the Sony a7 III. So it should look just like um, it's basically uh, packed by Sony. Anyways, I'm going to try not to move the tripod uh, so the camera won't move. Slowly, let's see. Okay. So as you can see, I really love the design of the packaging, honestly, uh, myself, I'm a designer and I love to see a good piece of design. Uh, we have here like some sort of like register your new product online. Uh, I guess this is a card, whatever. Here's one year warranty extended. Then here's some more kind of like information, European warranty information documentation. And then some here, Sony lenses, lots of let's say paperwork and stuff like that. I really like the strap, not gonna lie. Uh, the Sony A7 III, it just only, only says A7. It doesn't specify if it's A7 III, A7 II, or anything like that. Just gonna leave it there on the side, hopefully. Can you see it? Yes, you can see it on the side, perfect. Okay, so here we have the actual camera, which actually, I'm gonna leave the camera on the side. And before I show it to you guys, I'm going to show you what we have here. We have the battery, which apparently I read into it and it's a new battery where you basically uh, have more power in the sense of you can last longer during the day, uh, taking your photos and videos. Uh, then we have like an adapter. So it's basically between a US uh, USB and also the power uh, AC power connector. We leave that on the side. Let me just put this chunk. Actually, I'm gonna put it back into the box. And it's gonna be much better. Okay, that's there. Let me just put it there quickly. Like that. Here we have uh, basically the USB. So you connect it here. Uh, which way? The other way around. You connect it here and then you have, oh, USB and then micro USB, I think B. I'm not too sure, you can see that. That's the connection. And then here you have the power and here you can see the connector. So that's there. Then we have here uh, the British uh, connector to the power supply. So then you just go like that and then connect it there. And that's how it works. And then this other end, you connect it to the camera and then it, of course this one to the power in the switch. And then here, I think we have the European one, which is basically uh, just a different one and it works just the same. You take this one off. Oh, there you go. And then you just connect it here. Boom. And you have the European one. So it's actually kind of great that they included it. The only thing is that kind of like these two are kind of like, I'm not sure if you can see it. They're kind of very together. Maybe there's some mistake with it. I'm not too sure what's happened. But anyways, as long as it works, it's all it matters. And then here, finally, the reveal of the Sony A7 III, which actually, I really enjoy it. I've used it for the past few days and I honestly love it. I've transitioned from the Canon 80D to the Sony A7 III. I think I'm gonna make a video on that. But honestly, it's amazing, it's fantastic. The screen kind of comes out, as you can see here, boom. You can tilt it this way, extend it outwards as you can see then like that so you can kind of see like a low angle view kind of in a way and then you just kind of put it back boom like that uh, as you can see here we have the battery uh, what else we have here that where the sd card goes uh, here we have some connections i think that's for the microphone then here we have hdmi and then um, headphones connector then here we have where we charge the camera and then a USB-C charger port or whatever. I'm not sure if that's to transfer data. 
these honestly many things i need to learn about the camera but honestly uh, this camera it's honestly really great anyways i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did so please like and subscribe and stay tuned for some reviews about this camera hopefully i'll bring it soon thank you very much and i hope to see you next time